Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create grid in Tecla Structures 2025 version. Okay, let's start. Before going to open Tecla Structures software, you should connect internet connection to your computer before going to open Tecla Structures software. So double click on the software to open. Now select here environment, US and role, imperial, steel detailing, and configuration this is the educational version so select it if you don't have this software i have already explained in my previous tutorial how to download and install tecla structures 2025 version please follow the video and download and install it and check out this video now click on ok now i'm going to create new project so click on here new and you can set give the name whatever you want now place in here c drive tecla structures models is the folder these project files are saved here under the C drive, Tecla Structures model folder name. Now select the single user and we're going to create a blank project. So click on here, blank, then click on here, create. Now select here, yes. Okay, this is the default project model grid here. Now I'm going to change this grid. Okay, let's check our example files. We have plan and elevation so let's open our plan you can see this is the plan i'm going to rotate so Control shift plus to rotate the plan you can see this is the plan we have grids in horizontal direction six grids and vertical direction we have a b c d grid okay now we're going to execute this grid in our model this file okay so to edit this model grid double click on this grid to open the grid property window otherwise just click on it right click on mouse go to property to open this window we have two options you can directly double click on this grid to open this window file like this now you can see this is the coordinate directions we already have here this is the x direction and y direction and vertical we have z direction okay i have already explained how to control the mouse options in, a, in my previous tutorial please check out how to rotate and how to zoom and zoom out and everything so now coming to here this x direction in our even in our x direction in our example we have this is the x direction and this is the y direction so in our x direction we have grids here one two three four five six so we're going to change the grids oh, spacing here according to our example here you can see first spacing we have 20 feet next 25 20 20 25 okay let's take here I just remove it and delete it and the first spacing exactly at the zero position so we need to make here zero and give the space and first grid now and the next grid we have 20 feet so we need to enter here 20 feet and use space next we have 25 feet so enter here 25 feet and give space next grid we have two 20 feet two spacing we have 20 feet so we can directly type here two into 20 feet and give space next we have 25 feet so enter here 25 feet now coming to y direction in our y direction we have first grid by default at zero location so just remove everything and make it zero and give space and the next spacing we have 18 feet to 18 feet so we can directly type here 2 into 18 feet and give space next we have 15 feet so type here 15 feet now coming to z direction so in our z direction we can see in the elevation view so we're going to open elevation view pdf and you can see control shift plus to rotate this pdf now coming to here in the elevation you can see ground level is zero and first floor at 18 feet and second floor at 25 28 feet that means you can see the spacing between the ground floor to first floor 18 feet and the first floor to second floor we have 10 feet now coming to the ground level we have zero 
from ground so delete everything and make it zero and give space and first floor from ground level we have 18 feet from ground level 18 feet so we need to enter here 18 feet and give space and second floor we have 28 feet from ground level you can see 18 plus 10 feet total 28 feet so we need to consider the uh, spacing height of this second floor from ground floor so we need to enter here from 0 to 28 feet so we need to enter here the value is the 28 feet in terms of height of this building now coming to the labels you can see in our example we have one two three four five six grid so we need to take here one two three four five well we already have five labels so enter here sixth one and now coming to y direction we have a b c d only we have d up to d so by default we have a b c d so no no need to change these values in the label now coming to the z direction we need to enter plus zero and give the first floor level we already have here 18 feet so enter here 18 plus 18 feet plus indicates the from ground level so into enter plus symbol also so plus 28 feet okay now click on modify to change this grid you can so you can observe here click on modify it you can see now this grid has been updated according to our example now close this window and you can see like this but you can see this grid out of this model box so we need to set the box according to this grid so click on space this is a space so click on space click means the you need to left click on your mouse so click on it then right click on mouse then fit work area to entire model so we need to fit the work area to entire model so click on it you can see now this model box is cover the entire grid according to our example like this you can see now we're going to check the grid labels according to our example so you can see we have one two three four five six grids so you can see one two three four five six grid now coming to here a b c d now here a b c d now we're going to check the plan spacings so use the shortcut control p to get the top view of your 3d model so we're going to check the spacings so click on here edit and we need to select here measure under measure select the horizontal distance and pick the first point here second point at intersection of this grid and click on here to place the dimension similarly we need to do to the every base spacing like this now coming to the vertical direction these are the just checking dimensions so just use this spacing distance for checking purpose so click on here to place it like this to check the vertical distance you, you need to select this vertical distance for horizontal this is a horizontal distance okay now click on escape to exit the command you can see currently we have cursor symbol when you select this horizontal distance you can see the cursor becomes a plus symbol that means the command is activated and you can see here the command indicates here pick the uh, point from which start the measurement for example you can see if you want to check the distance spacing between the grid 2 to 3 you need to select the first point here now you can see pick the second point in the command bar indicates that so click on here and you can see we already have the spacing here 25 feet if you wanted to place the spacing just click on here to place the dimension okay you can similarly you can check the every spacing between the two grids that means the base spacing if you wanted to escape the command click on escape on your keyboard to exit the command okay now we have the spacing so now we're going to check with our example so pdf example you can see 20 feet 25 20 25 next 20 20 25 20 20 25 now coming to the vertical distance 18 18 15 18 18 15 okay that's it now we already uh, checked the uh, 
plan uh, base spacing. So, if you wanted to erase this distance, this is only for checking purpose. If you wanted to erase it, just click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view to erase uh, checking dimensions. Now, coming to the elevation views to use the control P to get back uh, to the 3D view like this. Now, I'm going to create views to check the elevation spacing also. So, click on grid, right click on mouse. You can see create views, then click on along grid lines. Now, you can see we have plan at elevations like the elevation on grid. Uh, we have already plan views, elevation views, everything. No need to change any titles. If you wanted to change the title, you can change from here. This is the prefixes. So now we're going to leave it by default. Then click on create to create views like this. You can see we have plans and elevation views. So now we're going to check the elevation spacing. So for example, let's take elevation on grid one, elevation on along grid one to get the spacing between a to b b to c c to d in our example you can see the elevation pdf use the control plus to rotate it you can see a b c d this is the elevation along grid one on the coming elevation along in this direction so we're going to check this elevation so select it click on this arrow to open the visible view in our background, you can see the elevation on grid 1. You can see now here this drawing according to our PDF. You can see both are similar, the same. We are going to check the spacing in height of this building. So close this window. Now click on measure and select the vertical distance. And from ground to first floor, we have 18 feet. And from ground to second floor, we have 28 feet. That means the spacing between so first floor to second floor we have 10 feet according to our example you can see 18 10 feet like this you can also check this dimension we have already checked these dimensions in the plan if you wanted to check just click on here and set this horizontal distance and click on here and click on here and place this dimension like this Okay, you can see 18, 18, 15, 18, 18, 15, A, B, C, D, and ground level plus zero, and first floor we have plus 18 feet, and second floor plus 28 feet from ground level, like this. Okay, these are the checking dimensions. If you wanted to erase these dimensions, then click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view to erase these dimensions. Okay, currently we have active views or two. One is the 3D and second one is the elevation view. Okay, if you wanted to uh, include the remaining elevation views or plan views, just select it. For example, let's take elevation on grid A. Click on this arrow to activate the view that will be get into the background. You can see elevation on grid A. This is the elevation on grid A. You can check the title of this view at top of this window elevation on grid one or you can also check here this uh, symbol in case the activa activated window at the background you can see if you wanted to see the 3d just click on here to see the 3d view like this okay that's it about how to create grids in tecla structures 2025 version okay in our next class we're going to see how to create steel columns in Tecla Structures 2025 version with PDF example like this. Okay. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla Structure related videos, please subscribe my channel, the Niski YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you.